Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. In my previous Helltech Wi-Fi LoRa 32 video, we went through the updated Arduino IDE library steps. I have attached this GPS module and I have this mashup of a couple of example sketches. So I'm transmitting latitude, longitude, altitude, along with time, and a packet count. So let's take these for a range test. Make sure to watch my previous video to get all the requisite libraries and board definitions installed in the Arduino IDE. See the link down below to my GitHub repository for this code. Now this layout seems a little crude. I was working on a 3D printed rocket payload bay, but I found that the transmitter and GPS module need some physical separation or I could never manage to get a GPS fix. So I will be designing a new 3D printed arrangement for all this. One thing to consider with this application is the board will run on a single cell 3.7 volt battery connected here, but the GPS unit needs five volts. So I'm using one of these boost modules to bring the battery voltage from 3.7 volts up to five volts. Connect this to the 5 volt pin on the Helltech Wi-Fi LoRa32 board and to the GPS module. These boost modules are so cool, I'm thinking about making a video about them. Stay tuned! Of course, you will want to make sure you know the specs for your GPS breakout and act accordingly. Here's the case for my receiver. It even has a power switch. Let's take a quick look at the code. I'm mashing up the tiny GPS++ device example sketch with the Helltech OLED LoRa sender sketch. You see all the include files combined at the top here. ESP32 boards use hardware serial. I detailed this in the previous video. So this is the setup for the GPS. Here are the tiny GPS bits. Here is the setup for the transmitter and the OLED display on the Helltech board. We build up the payload in this function. Time, latitude, longitude, altitude, and packet count are combined into a single string. Note that the lat and lon variables are float, so I use this function here to get six decimal places on these and convert the data to string. Void loop calls this function sends the buildup string of GPS data to the LoRa receiver and displays it on the transmitter screen. This draw string max width function helps keep the output all on the screen. The draw string function by itself just lets this long string of data go past the edge of the screen instead of wrapping it. These are the stock antennas that come with the board. Let's go take a walk. It's a beautiful spring day in Tucson. I'm leaving the transmitter with the GPS module in a fixed location and monitoring the signal using that same Helltech board and antenna running OLED LoRa receiver. What I'm coming to realize is in an urban setting, it's hard for me to find a scenario with line of sight for a suitable distance. Today, I'm trying a new testing ground, the Pantano Wash behind Tucson Hilton East. There are lots of dips, twists, turns, and obstacles, but I managed to find high ground all along the way with line of sight back to the transmitter. Low ground with obstacles like this chain link fence definitely block the signal. The antenna on the receiver is somewhat directional. When I point it straight towards the transmitter, I get a stronger signal. This is the last leg of the trail before it drops out of line of sight the rest of the way. You can see the packet count on the receiver is still going up at this point. My TTGO T-Watch 2020 version 2 with GPS shows my current position. Let's put the two coordinates on the map. So this is how far I got with this range test. Compare it with some of my other range test videos. I will continue range testing with different antennas and locations with more space that still have line of sight. Stay tuned and thank you very much. 
So make sure to check all the links in the description down below. Please subscribe, check out some of these other videos, and thank you very much. Thank you for watching Shitoku Tech. Please subscribe, comment, like, and share.